Welcome back to another demo of the PDI4 logging architecture is what we covered today. Uh, a couple of small changes and a couple of really big changes in the back end. Small changes uh, relate to some coloring information that we added uh, in the output window. Uh, now we can only do this because uh, we now know exactly where each log line is coming from, uh, what log level it has. We even know if it comes from a repository, we know the, the ID of, a, of the object in the repository. We know the date, the lineage of each log row. Uh, I think we kind of went out of, our, out of our way to uh, provide you with uh, a very solid logging architecture. Memory usage has been severely reduced. We do incremental uh, logging. We have log separation between uh, various running transformations. Let me show you that. Uh, as well uh, for this uh, small log job so the logging uh, has the same thing so we no longer see that uh, uh, mixing of uh, logs so uh, you know the only thing you might see in spoon is, uh, is or the general messages like uh, starting a job from spoon or something so the complete hierarchy, the logging channels, the whole architecture is in trunk at this moment and will find its way into a better user interface uh, later on. Uh, something else we changed, we now added a pause log. So we can log, uh, we can pause the log so that we can select stuff. And uh, actually, you know, as you can see, the transformation has already stopped. So this, there is a central log buffer now that uh, keeps one exact copy of uh, the log buffer and uh, we will now incrementally pick the, uh, the rest of the lines and this is what uh, the continue does. Alright, hope you like this uh, quick demo. Uh, a lot more to do in PDI4, a lot more to, uh, to arrive uh, at your doorstep in the release. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching, bye.